Vienna and um, my part in the suspicion project is the, the project lead. In our project we uh, are developing a prediction model for uh, process related uh, data. So specifically in our project we uh, receive from our challenge provided data from spot welding applications, robotic spot welding applications and based on this data we try to predict uh, production standstills. Production companies like uh, in the automotive industry they have a lot of data for them producing hardware. So they have a, a, num a large number of sensors, a large number of machines, a large number of robots and they collect a large number of data. But to interpret this data and gain information of that is um, a very hard task. So it's, it's not easy for humans to analyze those high amounts of data. And uh, in our project we try to gain that information or process uh, these huge amounts of data with uh, machine learning algorithms in order to pr predict Specifically in this case, we try to predict uh, the standstills in production because every standstill obviously costs money and if we are able to predict those standstills and uh, prevent them, even prevent them, it's a, a cost-saving opportunity basically. Cascade funding opportunities are a very good opportunity to get into contact with uh, huge research organizations and with EU projects uh, specifically for small and medium sized companies it's uh, not that of a high barrier to, to get funding possibilities and, and also the industrial connection of this very project I think that's very appealing because they are really looking at a high TRL and they are also um, encourage you to think of the business side of your project and try to market it. They help you towards not only focus on research activities but also to promote it as an industrial product and I think that's a very good combination. I think it's very well organized. I think the B-Master reporting is it's hard because you always have to think about your reports but on the other hand it's uh, it's good that you always get feedback and uh, you don't feel alone with your research. And um, yeah, I, I also think that it's good that it's two-faced funding uh, based on your results. So that keeps you motivated in, in reaching your, your goals. And, and not only focusing on the technical part of your research, but also on the business side of the Project. So I think it's a very good combination. Through the project we have formed a rather good base with our channel provider. So hopefully we will continue our cooperation. But also with our research we have developed a prediction model in a rather general way. So we are able to apply it at different types of companies in different kinds of industries. Accuracy is not necessarily uh, the same for different kind of industries. So for the automotive industry, obviously they are asking for a very high accuracy because they are a very optimized industry. But uh, in terms of different kinds of application, also a lower accuracy might also provide some potentials for optimization. So. We will try to um, yeah, use our model for, for different kinds of projects as well.